Now, if you go back and look at Itihasas, uh, you mentioned Mahabharata, you also, uh, you know, if you look at Ramayana also, you know, the the mention of Shiva comes in all these uh, Itihasas. So the concept of God being there has been there for, you know, go, we can, I don't know how far back you have to go before this concept of God being Ishvara. I mean, I'm just giving you a name here. So mm. how did one God or one you know, person who is considered to be God or an entity to be God became this millions. Uh, what is the reasoning for that? Can you please explain to our viewers how you think or how this evolved? I'm not going to say you think, you know <laughs> how this evolved. Um, our Purvacharyas, our preceptors have opined Sri that uh, Sanatana Dharma Today, we do call it Hinduism. There's nothing wrong in equating or uh, the word Hinduism being synonymous with Sanatana Dharma. Uh, people in the West or people probably in the scholarly world uh, have this general statement that uh, Sanatana Dharma or Hinduism is polytheistic. That is, it believes in many gods. This statement can be broken into parts and can be... Uh, 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 proven that it is wrong because Sanatana Dharma doesn't believe in gods. It believes in one supreme entity and it believes that one supreme entity can come in various forms. So there is a difference between uh, calling uh, a religion that believes in many gods and saying that this religion that believes in one entity or for our viewers sake we can call it God can come in various forms. Because the moment I say there are many gods, see the right word, uh, simple word that um, uh, Sanatana Dharma uh, associates with the word God is Deva. If it's the female deity, it's Devi. Deva has the root word Divukridayam. The one who loves to play is called Deva. So uh, the one who loves to play is Devi. So the moment I say there are many devas, just with one person playing with us as puppets, with using Sri and Dushyant as puppets itself, life becomes kind of gruesome. Just imagine we had too many people playing with us. So this concept of many gods doesn't arise in Sanatana Dharma. It is one god, but in various forms, at various levels. Um, uh, for our viewers' sake, to make it even simple, uh, there is H2O. Uh, I, I understand that you are an engineer and people have told so me that you. I'm an engineer. Uh, yeah, so yeah, people hey, have told hey, me. Uh, no, Bits Spilani certificate is, is worth a lot, my friend. So you're just uh, being very modest. No, uh, I'm, I'm not being modest. See, there is something called the truth, Shri. Uh, 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 Ten of my cousins were engineers. So I was asked to be the 11th. So uh, uh, choosing to what be did an you engineer, have? engineer and be asked... Rather than a cricket eleven, <laughs> uh, I, I just did my chemical engineering and a few courses in uh, uh, that come under. Uh, l l let's talk good things now. Um, H two O. <laughs> See, we have a formula for water. For water, in its natural state, it exists in a liquid state. And when people say I'm thirsty, you would end up giving that liquid state of H two O. But imagine a person is hurt. There needs to be some kind of, you know, the word Tamil word is Ottagam. In that case, probably you may even use an ice pack. So the same H2O gets into a solid state. And you go to maybe Starbucks or any of those um, uh, uh, coffee or tea outlets. You would say, I want it piping hot. And then they will introduce that steam into it. So the same H2O gets into the steam, the gaseous states. So all these are States for the same H2O. Similarly, uh, Parabrahman, who is Paramatma, who is Bhagavan, who is Ishvara, has various states to himself and various stages to himself. So uh, 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 probably uh, to a person in the village, the same Krishna in the core of Tamil Nadu is called Karpanna Sami. Karp, for my viewers, is the word black, black color, karp, karp panna sami, that lord who is black hued. So in the villages of Tamil Nadu, some in Kerala, some in Andhra, there is one deity who is seated with a mustache 
and who is seated with a pundram and he holds a sword in his hand so he is called the village deity to us primitive mortals it may seem that he is some different deity no he is the same krishna with the same mustache who stands in parthas as parthasarathi in chennai so he appears in various stages probably he has to uh, uh, take those weapons catering to the moods of the people see generally people in villages are very very valorous very strong they wouldn't mind going out in the open field so there's a lot of bravery in them so the lord also has to mimic their bravery so he will have a sword so he's karupanna sami the same lord will hold a kanch in his hand and becomes parthasarathi in chennai those people who are very careful about getting down from the car and then assuring there's no dirt to their dress so it is the same lord who appears in various forms so uh, to sum it up uh, to say that hinduism or sanatana dharma is polytheistic may be philosophically theologically and technically wrong it is a, a system that believes in parabrahmam or paramatma there is no concept of paramatmas parabrahmams there is no plural to the word there is only one paramatma there is only one parabrahmam that parabrahmam appears in various forms and stages catering to the moods of the people because today uh, uh, your wife or my wife may want to wear a paithani tomorrow they may want to wear a kalamkari so it is the same saree with various designs right so you cannot say that uh, she wears different kinds of dresses it's the same dress with different patterns one second thing when you ask why should they take so many different forms it is dependent uh, see uh, uh, let's assume for a set of parents if they have three children she not all not every child will be of the same caliber not every child will have the same like and dislikes just amongst three children born to the same set of parents you have such a variety so for that variety there is a statement in sanskritam loko bhinna ruchihi the world is of different different um uh, 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 interests and taste. thoughts yeah yeah taste so for these days the lord himself is so benevolent he we treat god as our father and mother right so he caters that way and that is how uh, he delivers so this concept of gods uh, uh, should be further shrunk to the same god in various forms so it's more uh, polymorphism rather than polytheism kind of yeah uh, see uh, i i wouldn't immediately agree with any of these english words though we are conversing in english because that's right know, it's, it's I, difficult I to get an exact uh, what fit. that yes. what that english word actually means uh, so whatever you say i would just say something like that because you know uh, because there'll be experts in uh, p guru's channel so they will uh, catch me and then say how did you agree to this word so i would rather keep it that one paramatma in various forms that will make it simple 